how to connect your Trezor hardware wallet to a MetaMask account so you can go ahead and use DeFi and other applications. First thing we can do is come and download MetaMask. I'll leave the link down in the description, but it's metamask.io. Come through to this site and then you can come and download it for your Chrome browser or other supported browsers like Brave browser or, or Firefox. Uh, so come and download it and then install it as an extension to your Chrome browser. Once you have that extension in the top right hand corner, you should see the Fox icon for MetaMask as an extension. So you can just click that and then it opens MetaMask for you. Once you have MetaMask downloaded for your browser, it's gonna go through the setup process automatically. So we'll go through that very quickly now. If you want a more in-depth guide to MetaMask, I'll link that video down in the description as well. But we can click on get started right here. And then it's gonna take us through to this page asking you, do you want to import your wallet or do you want to create a new wallet? Now you may think because you have a Trezor device already that you can actually come and import that wallet to MetaMask, but under no circumstances do this. Your Trezor hardware wallet keeps your private key offline and that is the whole point of a hardware wallet. I know that you have a seed phrase if you have a Trezor set up as well, but that needs to be kept offline somewhere safe. You can keep it on a steel seed phrase or something. I'll link the Trezor store below, the official store where you can get some seed phrase devices as well that are really great. Um, so check that out if you want but you must not import that wallet right here. If you do that, you have basically turned your hardware wallet that's really safe into a hot wallet on MetaMask on your computer. So do not do that. Just click create new wallet right here and you'll create a new MetaMask wallet and then we can add our Trezor to that later. So create a new wallet right here and then it's gonna say create a password. This is just a password to get into the MetaMask application on your computer. So put anything in here, it's not massively relevant. Uh, just if you, you know, if your computer gets stolen or something, maybe there's that initial password there that's uh, right here. So just create a password that's unique to MetaMask. Uh, it doesn't matter too much though, so just do that. And then it's going to say, here is your secret recovery phrase. So what we're actually doing is creating a brand new MetaMask account that's a hot wallet on our computer. So you can just click to reveal the secret words and then just write these down. If you want to reload this hot wallet on a different device like your phone or another computer, then you can input these words no problem and your MetaMask hot wallet will be re reloaded on that device. However, if you're only using this for Trezor, it actually doesn't matter that much. You can create another new one somewhere else and just load your Trezor into it. Um, but you might want to hot wallet for some reasons. So write this down if you want, and then you'll have that for future loading on different devices. You just have to check your recovery phrase is written down properly and that you have all those words, and then you can do that. And once you've done that, you've actually created a brand new MetaMask hot wallet on your computer. Once your MetaMask wallet is set up, then it will take you through to this page. If you don't have this page, just go to your extensions tab in the top right hand corner of Chrome. Uh, it should look like a puzzle and then you can choose MetaMask from that. This is what it looks like for the MetaMask pop-up. If you want to press these three dots here, you can see expand view that takes you through to this bigger view right here. And now we have MetaMask on the Ethereum mainnet. This is our wallet address. This is gonna be our MetaMask hot wallet address. We wanna to go to the top right hand corner right here, click this and then come down to connect hardware wallet. And then we can choose from the list right here. At this point, make sure that your Trezor hardware wallet is plugged into the computer that you're using. I'm gonna use a Trezor Model T, and so I need to unlock it with the pin number first and just make sure that it's connected and ready to go. Now I'm going to click Trezor like this and press continue. Now it's going to ask me, do you want to allow MetaMask to read and give permissions so that it can read your accounts and show your balances right here. So important is that you're not importing your Trezor device or your private key or anything. MetaMask is just reading public information here. So this is fine. I'm going to press allow for one reason and then export public key. Public key is fine. MetaMask has zero control over spending your money or your crypto on here. Um, so we're going to press export. And now it says enter my Trezor passphrase. If you've set up a Trezor device through Trezor Suite that has a secret account, which you know you can do that when you go through Trezor Suite, you can have the normal accounts, which are you know public and you can see them normally, but then there's like a private password protected account as well that doesn't unlock until you put that in. So you need the seed phrase plus the password. If you have that, enter that right here if you want to see it 
and use it in MetaMask. If you don't have one or don't uh, don't want to use it, then don't enter anything and just press the enter key right here and it's gonna go through and not load that account for you. So that's loading and literally we've uh, uh, you know attached it to MetaMask right now. What it is looking at is all of the Ethereum accounts that are actually active on your Trezor. So you can look at the uh, wallet address right here and choose the one that you want to load into MetaMask to use and to view. Um, so I'm gonna click on this one here and then press unlock like this. And that's literally it. You can see up in the top now, we have the name, which is Trezor1. You can click this and go to account details and see that. Um, you can go to account details. You can rename Trezor1 to something else if you want. You can see your address right here. This is the Ethereum uh, address that you have in your Trezor1 and that is now connected to MetaMask. MetaMask has zero control over the assets in your Trezor. If you go to send right here, and then send to some address that you have. What you will need to do is go through this and press next, and you will only sign the transaction on your Trezor. So MetaMask, if your Trezor isn't plugged in, or you don't sign the transaction on your Trezor, cannot move your funds or do anything with your funds. It's view only, and your private key signs the transaction, which is on your Trezor, and so you must have your Trezor plugged in in order to send and sign transactions from your Trezor. You can also flick through all of your accounts in the top right of MetaMask, come up here. I'm on Trezor one now, but I can go to different accounts, hot wallets that I set up within MetaMask or other hardware wallets is all up there in the top right hand corner. And you can change the uh, network that you're using. If it's supported on Trezor, you can use all of those addresses as well and sign transactions on your Trezor.